Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Well, I'm out here today with the LH-X66. It's a stunt fighter. Now, why is it called a stunt fighter? That's because when you fly this, it flies like a drone, uh, it can do stunts. It can go up in the air, spin around like this, and then come back level. It actually works. You'll see it in this video. It does it quite well. It's designed for you to have fun with your kids out at a park flying this around. Now, I will say I've flown it here in the backyard. I've flown it indoors. And I'm going to show you some of that video and it flies quite well. It's very, very simple, very easy to fly. No issues whatsoever. Simple design all around. And as you're going to see in the video, I even test out banging into things because this foam, here I'll show you, it's very, very flexible. And I've flown it at night. So you can see some footage of me flying it here at night. And uh, it actually is pretty cool at night. It's kind of glowy. So I think if you're out at a park at night with this or out camping, it would look pretty cool. One other thing to mention, when you go on the website, it looks like there's a camera in this thing because they talk about a camera and on the included remote, there's a button to take pictures or video. But there's no camera in the version I have. You can see right here in the front, it looks like maybe there was a camera on some version. I don't know. Could you place a camera on it? Yeah, you could put your own tiny little camera on it like an Insta360 Go and it would probably work and fly around with the camera on it but uh, as far as I know uh, on Banggood you can't buy this with the camera you just get it like this. So how about I show you this flying indoors and outdoors here in my backyard. Check this out. All right we're all set for our indoor flight so we flip over the plane put the battery in the bottom slide it forward there we go turn on the power switch and you see the beautiful lights flip that over and next it's a little bit backwards you actually put the controller on after you put this on so turn this on these lights will go solid there we go they are connected this is connected you do have a light switch here I can turn the lights off or I can turn them back on there we are we'll leave them on for this flight and we're ready to go the only thing you should do is do a gyro calibration pull these down and to the right like this there you go and uh, that's all level and it should fly very very still in the air all right our planes down there controllers here you see you have a little takeoff and land button down here you can press that and the motors will start watch they start you have to press it again to make it go up in the air watch press it again and get out of the way so here it is in my living room it's pretty steady i'm not really doing anything if i go to the right it goes to the right well i guess that's my right and if i want to go to the left i can move it to the left and there we go close to my hat cam and if i want to go backwards i can go backwards and if i want to go over to the right again it goes to the right and if i want to go left i go left and just to show you i can fly this around the house so here let me just bring it down so i put it in front of the other camera I bring it over here bring it down there we go it should catch it slide along the table there we go get some wind speed and here we go we're gonna take it around the house There we are. There we are. Let's bring this up. Go around the house. It's very easy to fly indoors. I have it on the first speed. You have uh, three speeds. So I've got it on speed number one for indoor flight. And let's bring it over this way. Now, all the wind it blows at the bottom, uh, if that gets uh, bounced off the walls, well, then it bounces back and then causes this to drift. So if you're flying this, fly it in a big open area if you're brand new. That way it won't drift and then bang into the other walls. There we go. Go like this, bring it up. There we go. And then turn it this way. There we are. And if you want to land it, it's pretty simple. You just bring it over. You can hit that little button that you use for takeoff, or you could just bring it down slowly like this. And as soon as it touches the ground, the motors will shut off. Just hold the left joystick down and there you go. Okay, now we're outdoors. I have Mr. Owl staring at us. And to launch this, uh, I'm not going to use the up and down arrows. You can do it manually just by pulling these joysticks down and out and then lifting the left joystick up. And there we go in the wind. So there's a breeze out here. You can see it bouncing around the breeze. So I'm going to change the speed on here. I'm going to go from speed one to speed three. So I'll go at speed two. At speed three. So now I should be able to fly it a little bit better in the wind. Let's spin it around and let's pick it up and bring it over here. There we are. There we are. It won't fly in a, on a super windy day. I couldn't see it. It's much too light for that, but you know, it flies right now, no problem. Here I'm in my backyard. There is a breeze and uh, yeah, I've got it on the third speed and that's the max fastest you can go forward. It's definitely a park flyer or a backyard flyer for certain here. Let me take it up so you can see the little blue lights. And there we go. Looking in the sun. Can you still see the lights? There we are. That's what she looks like. 
looks very uh, Terminator, like the Terminator movie, some sort of vehicle on the Terminator. It's super easy to fly, like a child could fly this. Uh, so if you're thinking of getting this for your kids, yeah, it's, it's definitely a buy for your kids because it's simple to fly. They're not going to get into trouble. And the foam is so bendable on this because look at this, I'll grab the nose. You know, you can bounce it around in the air and then I just go, oh, I guess I'll keep flying it. And there we go. Just keeps on going. It's uh, not going to hurt anybody. Those props are not brushless motors. So if I stuck my finger in, they would just stop. They would not uh, injure you in any way. And if you want to do a flip, hit the button. And here we go. There we go. Flip. Woohoo. Whoa. <laughs> Let's try that. <laughs> Let's try that where I don't hit myself with the head. Here, try that again. Going up and flip. There we are. Nice one. But it does look pretty cool. I think your your kids would have fun with that. Here, I'll stand on this side so you can see it flip better. There we go. Ready? Way up in the air and I'll flip it. And going, whoa. That's pretty cool. And if you want to fly low to the ground, you can as if you're seeking something to destroy. There we go. Oh, let me just show you banging into stuff. Here, watch this. I'll go bang into my house. I'm standing over here, smash right into the house. There you go. It just bounces off. You see that? Look at that. I'm even sideways. Well, and look, it crashed, but don't worry about it because watch this. It's very flexible. You, it's bendy. It's just all like a type of rubbery foam. Well, it's foam, but it's like a rubbery foam. So I don't know. Can I launch it out of my hand here? It flashes because it says, oh, no, you messed up the gyro. So it just means you have to put it down on the ground like this. And then you pull these down to the right and it will reset itself. There we go. See the light stopped? There we are. I wonder if I could throw it in the air and will it take off? This is not what it's meant to do, but I'm going to try this. I'm going to start it in my hand. Uh, let's say get everything out of the way. There we go. It started and now I'm going to throw it up in the air and hit this button again. Here we go. There we go, baby. And <laughs> she goes. All right, let's go land it over here. All right, coming down for a landing. I'm going to take it backwards and I'm going to try to land it right there. I'm going to hit this button. Let's see what happens. Is it going to hit the table? What? Landed on the table nicely. There we go. Pretty sweet. Next thing to show you is what comes in the box. Here we go. This is the box your stunt fighter comes in and this is a close look at the flexible foam material that it's constructed of. Here you can see the core motors, the on and off switch in the battery compartment. Removing the battery reveals a 580 milliamp hour LiPo battery. The battery is charged by an included USB charger. The buttons on the included remote are well identified to let you know what they do. And to power the controller, you will need to supply three AA batteries, not included. However, what is included is a full set of spare props. You also get a micro Phillips screwdriver and you get the owner's manual. And checking out the weight, we can see it here, 94 grams. So final thoughts on this drone. It's easily designed as a fun toy and it's simple to use with the included controller. The batteries just slide them in, charge them up really simply and go fly, hit this little button. And there we go, see, I'm already started. And if I hit it again, there we go. <laughs> and I landed in the flower. My wife's gonna kill me on that. And the odds of you or your kids breaking this are kind of minor as long as you don't start putting things in the props and stopping them while they're turning. It, uh, it should last a long time. It's made out of that foam that's like super soft. It doesn't hurt at all. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put links below and the wind is blowing. I'll just send this off flying up into the stratosphere. Here we go. You know, I sent it before and hit my flowers, but here we go. See you later. All right, guys. So with that, I say thanks for watching this video. Here it comes. <laughs> it's still going. Come back again. Whoa. <laughs> Anyways, I'll turn it off. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions on that product, well, then post them below and I will get back to you. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in a future review with many more cool products like this. Till then, I say bye.